All right, so today I'm out here with the Hover ARX-1 once again. And uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the manual mode and how you can achieve some really cool shots uh, using some advanced uh, techniques by just using the virtual stick uh, via the app. Now, keep in mind that uh, those of you who just got the Hover ARX-1 and open up the app and you don't see the manual mode available, that is because you have to unlock it first, and by doing that, you have to complete five uh, flight mode tasks. And once those are completed, you'll be able to unlock that feature. All right, so the first thing you want to do is have it in hover mode, and you want to make sure that the uh, camera is facing opposite from you. So when you take off, it uh, sees everything that's in front of you. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and take off and show you guys how to do this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take her up and show you guys uh, what she can do and see if we can get some cool shots using some advanced techniques here. So I'm going to go ahead and press the takeoff button here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick her up a little bit. Now I'm going to pitch it forward. So as you can see, I'm pitching forward. Pitching backwards. Row left. And row right. So that's the basic. Uh, you have your up, you have your down, you have your turn left, and you have your turn right. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how you can uh, get some really cool, uh, you know, shots like a reveal, for example. So I'm going to go and pitch forward while pressing up. So you go towards that tree. Now I'm press up, and as you can see, slow slowly rises up. And now I'm over the tree. So I just barely touched it. And I can do the same going backwards. So I'm going to go backwards and press down. I don't know what happened there. Landed by itself, so I'm gonna try that again. Uh, this time, let me see. Let me try hovering again. I don't know what happened there. So I'm gonna move forward once again. I think I might have lost connection in that it's working with the Wi-Fi from your phone. So here's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to push it forward to the tree. Now you, you really have to uh, be close to this thing. So I'm going to do a row left, right? And I'm going to press up while I'm rolling right. So you get that cool... Uh, let me press down, lower it a little bit, and then rise it up. How about that? Move it towards the left a little bit. And now I'm gonna roll right while pressing up. And you'll see what kind of movement you get there. So as you can see, it's rolling to the right while rising up. So that's an advanced uh, technique that you get from a re regular uh, quad, which is interesting. And you can do the same thing uh, going left and pressing down, you can get that reverse uh, movement. Now, the only thing that doesn't seem to work is the, uh, is the um, orbit. Can't seem to get a proper orbit out of this thing. It's kind of hard to do. 
Yeah, let me see. You know, that's not how to hit that. Let me see if I could do it. It's pretty hard. So you press left and turn right. And as you can see, you have to sort of like tap on it to get you know, it's not, it's not perfect, but yeah, I see the Wi-Fi signal. So I'm going to go move forward, press it up, bring it back over here. Yeah, it's not perfect, but, um, you know, you can achieve some cool shots with it. What else would else a fly away? So that's another thing you could do manually. So let me uh, roll here to the right. Turn right here, line it up, go forward towards the tree. Towards the left. I'm going to press the gimbal down. And now I'm going to go backwards and press up. So backwards and up. As you can see, I get that flyaway effect, which is pretty cool. And you could do the same thing going forward and down. So you can reverse that action, which is pretty cool. Another thing is you can uh, tilt the gimbal down while you're flying forward. So I'm going to go above the tree, tilt the gimbal down, and uh, fly over it. All right? So I'm going to fly over it and tilt the gimbal down, as you can see. And I can do that flying backwards as well. Um, you can also do the Circling from above, which is another thing you could do with it. All right. Um, so now I'm going to press backward and push the gimbal up. So I pulled away while pressing the gimbal upwards. And then I go down and backward. Yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, you can't do the the orbit. It's pretty hard to do. But, you know, it just shows you guys an example of what you can achieve by doing some uh, advanced uh, techniques using the virtual joystick on the app. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks a lot, uh, you guys, for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, give a like on it. And if you have any questions, just leave your comments below in the video, and I'll try to answer them. All right. Anyway, see you guys on the next one.